Hey there, Yagi here. In this short Google Sheets tutorial, we're going to go through resizing columns and rows in Google Sheets. There's three main approaches to resizing these columns and rows. Let's look at the first one. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with working with uh, spreadsheets, you might be inclined to click on a column and right click um, and then go down to the resize the column button. Here you can actually resize by the width of the pixel or the height of the pixel, depending on whether it's a column or a row. Let's change this over now to say uh, 150 pixels and hit OK. Nice. You can see now that it's expanded to 150 pixels. Excellent. So, yeah, of course, you can do that again with rows by right clicking, resize the row. And here we might change this to 42. Excellent. Okay, the second approach is uh, super easy. You can click on here, let's choose column C, and you can see between the two columns that the cursor actually changes to this little arrow that points in both directions. This shows that you can do something with uh, those columns. This is actually how you can expand and contract the columns by left clicking and dragging left or dragging right to expand or, or reduce that column. Again, you can do the same on the row by grabbing those arrows up and down and dragging down and back up again. Okay, the last one is uh, how uh, it is something you probably saw earlier. If we right clicked in here and we clicked resize the column, you saw fit to data. Um, you can do the same and that basically fits it down into the width of the maximum width of any data within that column. So, for example, let's click on this one. It will change it down like this. Now, the shortcut to doing this, let's click on column E, is simply go into that area where the cursor changes to the two arrows, left and right, and double click. Done. Okay. So, to improve your efficiency, we can uh, take this to another level. Let's say I want column A, B, and C to all be the same width. I can click on column A, then I can hold the shift key down and click on column C. Now I have the ability to either right click and resize a column. Um, I can then use this cursor to either double click and drag. So let's just drag it out a little bit to make it a little bit wider. Now you can see each and every column has the identical same width as the other one because they've all been selected. Again, you can do the same with rows. Here we might uh, grab column five, six, seven, and eight, and we might this time change it to resize rows and change them to 42. Done. Looking good. Okay. So you can also grab individual columns. You can change, do this by selecting uh, the control button. For example, if I want column B, D, and G, uh, I can click on B and then with, hold down the control button, click on D, and then G. And then I've got those ones selected. Let's drag them out a little bit. Okay, so now they're all of equal width. Now you can combine the two by uh, selecting the range first, for example, from B through to D, and then column G. Uh, but you can't do it the other way around. So let's try it first. So let's go from B, hold down the shift through the D, that's a range. And now I'm going to change to holding down the control to select column G. And let's expand that out a little bit more. That uh, looks a bit tidier. Nice. So if I did it the other way around, if I select, for example, column B and D, and then hold control down, hit column D, and then I wanted, for example, F, G, and H, and I think, oh, I'm going to grab the range here, so I'll hold it, um, shift down. Okay, I hold shift down, and I select F. Ah. Now it's from D to F that's been selected, so it won't work in the opposite direction. Okay, so let's look at another issue you might face. Let's have a look at sheet two. As you can see, we've got uh, four items in a row. This one is really long. So if I click on it and then uh, left double click, it will expand out all the way to the end. Let me do that right now. Okay, so if I drag across now, I'm kind of stuck with this massive piece of data and then it just jumps. So I kind of don't want that. I don't want to display that to the users. One way of fixing this or one way of, of trying to resolve this is maybe zooming out. 
so you can see the full text and then you can drag it all the way across to fix the problem. Uh, another option, let's go back to our 100%, is to simply right click, go down to resize column and click, let's uh, put in 200 for example. And now it's back to something more reasonable. Okay, let's look at our final uh, challenge that we could face. Okay, here we have a header that has been merged. You can tell because it's in light green here. And then uh, three other items of text underneath the header. Now, if I double click this to fit to the width of the text, it's going to fit to the width of the text that has been merged as well. So let's give it a try. Double click. And as you can see, it's been, it's been extended all the way out. Now, we don't want this effect, but uh, so what you would need to do then is to simply drag it down to a suitable width for you. You wouldn't be able to double click to fit for width here. It doesn't affect the other columns. So if I double click these, for example, you can see that they change okay, or they haven't been moved. So here we go. So they change okay. Nope. There we go, got there in the end um, with, with no issues. If I drag that out, double click it back in, it's perfectly fine. Okay, that's all there is for resize columns and rows. I'll see you in the next tutorial.